Hello. As you can see by the title, this is a dessert with Kelsey and Cody video where we are baking. Where we are baking something from our most challenging cookbook. We're gonna make every recipe in this book and dominate it. We're gonna destroy this book. Uh, we have a new recipe for today, but it would not be a baking with Kelsey and Cody video if we did not have one very special sponsor. This video is sponsored by Thrive Market. <laughs> Thrive Market is an online membership-based market on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Once you're a member, you get members-only prices, which means you get the highest quality organic brands for the best prices. So I'm talking thousands of wholesome food, beauty, and home products curated just for members. Clean beauty, organic and essential groceries, safe supplements, and non-toxic home cleaning products, plus ethical meat, sustainable seafood, clean wine, and more. You can shop by 100 plus diets, so if you're keto, you go on there, you click keto friendly, and it shows you just the keto friendly options. So not only is this good for you, but it's good for the environment, because everything from Thrive is shipped with carbon neutral shipping from zero waste warehouses. And orders $49 or more ship for free. And if it couldn't get any better, every time you sign up for Thrive, they sponsor a free membership for a low income family. So if you guys want to enjoy Thrive as much as I do, click the link in my description. And you can choose the membership model that best fits your lifestyle. You can choose a one month or a 12 month membership option I choose the 12 month because it just comes out to like five dollars a month and if you choose the annual membership it's 30 days risk-free so try thrive out you guys I love it so much and thank you to thrive for sponsoring this video all right now let's get to bacon we have a new angle what do you think um, okay so like I said we are back with the milk bar momofuku milk bar cookbook and I had a spicy margarita. <laughs> we are making brownie pie. That's us right That's now. That's gonna be us. That's us. You okay? It's just that this is cold. Okay, first things first, graham cracker crust. Yes, yeah, so the first thing we're doing for our, for our brownie pie is making a graham cracker crust. And we have these delicious graham crackers from Annie's. Well, they're Annie's brand, but I got them from Thrive. And Cody is putting them into the food processor. Let's get the lid on real fast. Let's get the lid on. So I'm just gonna get the lid on after the lid there, it's on. Let's put that into a bowl. Got it. And then we have our handy dandy milk powder that you remember from our last. <gasps> that you remember from our last cookies. Look at that. Okay, so we have some milk powder going in. Oh my. Hmm? Just top came off. I thought this was supposed to be air sealed. We got two tablespoons of sugar honey and three fourths teaspoon of salt. Salt is it. it. Says mix it with your hands. Oh, mix it with your hands. Give it some whiskey business. That one's for you, Josh. <laughs> Whisk the butter and the heavy cream together. You want to melt that butter? Melt that butter, melt that butter. Melt that butter, melt that butter. Melt that butter, melt that butter. And here we're going to put our butter and our heavy whipping cream. Oh, God, man, salted butter is the best. Whisk it together as if it were your business. So it a little bit. Okay. Mm. Add to the dry ingredients and toss it. Oh. That's added. Oh, how are you doing that? Mix that up. It says the butter will act as a glue, adhering to the dry ingredients and turning the mixture into a bunch of small clusters. Wow, it really is doing that. 
Now make you sure you hold the shape and squeeze tightly in the palm of your hand. Yeah. If it is not moist enough to do so, melt an additional amount of butter. Yeah, that's a crust right there. Awesome. Wow. Oh my god. Can I taste a little bit? Yeah, it says eat immediately. This is just an appetizer. <laughs> yeah. Dump one and a fourth cup gram into a 10 inch pie tin. My little baker. This is sick. It smells really good, the graham crackers. Okay. One and a fourth cup in 10 inch, 10 inch pie tin set the remain. Is this 10 inches? Mm -hmm. Bottom and sides. You should table. know what 10 inches looks like. Good. Look at that. Crusted! I wish you guys could smell that. Combine the chocolate and butter into a microwave safe bowl and gently melt them together on low for 30 to 50 seconds. And we're using 72% chocolate. Well, this is 70% dark chocolate, okay? So we have some dark chocolate. This is where he use this whole thing. Cody's got his scale out. Plus have the drug dealer scale. Zero it, no. And no, it's four and a half ounces, right? What's this? No. Yeah, that's a horny part though. Yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it's, it a it's a, oh yeah? No. Oops. Oh, four and a half on the nose, baby. We're baking, we're baking. We are baking, seriously, we're baking. We're baking, we're baking later. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call ganache. Ganache. Here, kiss me, roll this. Oh, good Nash to you too. Oh, that's fucking good. Holy goddamn, that's some good Nash I've ever seen it. This is so great. Oh my god. Nothing. Nothing. Are you slurping down no. the Nash in here? Combine eggs and sugar in the bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment and whip together on high for three to four minutes. With the whisk attachment? Oh, brother. My favorite is the paddle attachment. Oh. That's when you really have fun. Three fourths cup of sugar. Oh, God. Whip together on high for three to four minutes until the mixture is fluffy and pale yellow and has reached the ribbon state. A little bit of a setback. <laughs> we uh, used rotten eggs by, <laughs> by accident. So we had to wash, wash out the bowl and the whisk. And this is just as the eggs reached what was the state? The ribbon state. The ribbon state. And so now we have to get back to the ribbon state. Yes, we're heading back to the ribbon state. All right, so the new eggs are on their way to the ribbon state. We'll check back in soon. Welcome to the ribbon state. <laughs> We've reached the ribbon state, which is when the egg kind of looks like this, all fluffed up. So now we replace the whisk attachment with the paddle attachment, which I'm fucking super excited Cody's about. Cody's favorite attachment. And we dump this in here, right? <laughs> this is where it gets technical, weirdly. Okay. This is fucking milk bar recipes are always like, and then do it on low for 48 seconds exactly. <laughs> um, it says dump the chocolate and then Briefly mix together on low, then increase the speed to medium and paddle for one minute. For as much as like milk bar recipes are annoying, it's worth it. Oh. Add flour, cocoa powder, and salt and paddle on low speed for 45 to 60 seconds. We have our flour and our cocoa powder. Nice. And, and salt. Low speed for 45 to 60 seconds. Oh jeez. There should be no clumps of dry ingredients. If there are any lumps, we got a couple of lumps oh. right here. Holy moly. Sorry, um, mom and dad. Stream in heavy cream. What does that mean? Stream in. Stream it in. Why just stream it? I wish we were streaming Love Island right now. Oh my god. Wow. So oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I think it's good. Mm. Attach the panel and remove the bowl from the mixer. Gently fold in the rest of the graham crust with a spatula. What? No way. <laughs> These crumbs will add little bursts of flavor and oh texture into the Oh my pie. god. This woman is a effing genius. Literally. It's like you think it's good and then she does some shit like that. Yeah. It's like, shit. There it is, folks. It's going in. What's funny? Can I have chocolate on myself? On my face? <laughs> What is it? Look. Oh, I have a little chocolate on my lips. So what? He just came. <laughs> didn't even get it. <laughs> oh 
感が出るよな<笑>